Hi everyone, welcome back to another Martin Tillman Garden Houseplant of the Week. This week we are talking about anthuriums. These guys are native to Colombia and Ecuador. Um, they have beautiful heart-shaped flowers that are not actually flowers at all, although they do get mistaken for flowers because um, they look very similar to your typical flower. Um, the colored part, this heart-shaped part right here, is actually a leaf called a spath. Um, and then the part sticking out of the center is the flower. Um, they are toxic to humans and to pets, so if you have animals at home or little kids, these might not be the best option for you unless you can put them kind of up high where no one can get to them. Um, they are, however, super easy to care for, and they make a really beautiful eye-catching houseplant. Um, so if you're looking for a blooming plant that's easy to care for in your home, this is going to be a wonderful addition to your houseplant collection. They also make wonderful Valentine's Day gifts. So if you're shopping for a friend, a family member, some kind of loved one, or for yourself, um, these are gonna be a great gift option for you. Um, so without further ado, we are gonna show you how to care for these today. And we will start off with the lighting requirements. These plants need a bright indirect light. Um, they do not want any kind of direct sun. Direct sun will burn both the leaves and the flower. Um, they also do not love lower light conditions. It'll slow down the growth a lot and it'll actually make them produce less and less flowers and the flowers that they does produce will be a lot smaller than the ones you see here. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is watering. They're not super picky when it comes to watering, which is good if you're looking for an easy to care for houseplant. Um, it's best to water them when the top inch of soil dries completely. They'll also show signs that they're thirsty. They will start to wilt and the leaves will kind of sag and look sad. Um, when that happens, touch the soil, make sure it's dry uh, before you give it a good drink and it should perk right back up. Um, it is best not to overwater these plants. They can be pretty susceptible to root rot. Um, so just making sure your pot has a drainage hole, make sure it's, the soil is drying out in between waterings is going to help prevent um, this plant from getting root rot. Another thing with watering is fertilizing this plant. So when your plant is actively growing, it's actively putting out new leaves and flowers. Um, you're gonna to wanna to fertilize your plant probably twice a month. Um, so once every other week, whenever you go to water it, just mix in this fertilizer. This is Jack's Classic All-Purpose Fertilizer. It tells you how to mix it on the back so you can't get it wrong. Um, that is a good option for these kinds of plants. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is humidity. Since these plants are from tropical regions of South America, they love humidity a lot, but they are really tolerant of more arid conditions like a home environment. You usually don't have a ton of humidity. Um, so it's not completely necessary for you to have a humidifier or anything like that. These will thrive even if you don't have those. But if you are able to provide that humidity, it's gonna produce more flowers. The leaves will be more vibrant. Um, it'll grow faster. We do have a video um, on our YouTube channel. It's going to be linked right up here. It shows you some different ways of how to increase humidity in your home. Um, you can use a humidifier, you can mist your plant a couple times a week, and you can use a pebble tray. And we show you in the video how to make your own pebble tray. Um, so if you are looking to make your plant just that much happier, that video is going to help you out a lot. Um, the last thing we're going to talk about today is soil for these plants. These plants love a more peat-based soil. It helps to mimic their natural habitat. Um, so usually soils don't come pre-mixed with peat moss already in them most of the time. So if you do find one like that, that's pretty great. But usually you can just mix one part of a regular indoor potting mix with one part of peat moss. This is the Fertilome organic sphagnum peat moss that we have here at Martin's. This is going to be a great option if you're looking to um, mix a more peat-based soil for these plants. But that is all. These are super easy and beautiful houseplants um, that you can add to your collection just to have something more eye-catching, something colorful in your home. And like we said before, they make wonderful Valentine's Day gifts um, for your loved ones or for yourself. Um, the last thing we have is we do have a house plant swap that is this week on January 15th. Um, it's at 10 a.m., it's $5 a person, and you can still sign up on our website. We can't wait to see everyone there. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye.